Hello, hello, and welcome to this International Cricket Captain experiment. You may have seen other people doing experiments in Football Manager, but you don't see that many in Cricket Captain games, so we're going to try and redress the balance here today by attempting to score the highest possible One Day International score. We will try to beat the Real Life England team's score of 498 runs from 50 overs achieved in June 2022. And how are we going to do this? That's right, we're going to cheat. We're going to use the third party player editor. And we're going to give our top six batters super batsman skills. This means that the only way that they can be prized from the wicket is if they are run out. In every other way, they are completely infallible. Now let's see, who could be the most unfair opposition? If you think of any cricket club in the world, who could it be? <laughs> yes, we're going to be pitching the greatest team that never lived against a team of internationals still playing at the age of 75. Well, but don't ask me what's going on. There's a previous video I did about this topic, but the upshot of it is this is the best team in the game versus the very worst team the game has to offer. The Netherlands pensioners. Within the restrictions, how much can we push the game? And moreover, can we beat 500 runs? We'll be setting the power bars to a maximum of 8, very aggressive, and we're going to be turning on the highlights here so we can watch every single boundary hit. An excellent shot there to get us underway by McGregor. England really motoring along during this power play. Incidentally, the first 20 overs are the power play, and we should expect to see more boundaries during that time. Ooh, in fast motion, the umpire looks as though he's cleaning a spot off his windshield there. England have scored 107 runs from the opening 8 overs. Dawes and McGregor pulling out all of the shots here. Down the ground, on the offside, really taking advantage of the power play. This left and right hand opening combination here. Dawes just made a wonderful 50 there. You might have seen his little animation waving to the crowd. And he's got that from 24 balls as we have moved into the second power play. One thing to bear in mind here, as this game approaches 20 years old, cricketing sensibilities were a little bit different. That was a whole generation ago. And the 2020 era had only just started when people were experimenting with new shots and becoming much more aggressive. I suspect if we were able to try this on the newest version of Cricket Captain, the score we could achieve would be much, much different. But I think the way things are going, we can easily smash the record of the time. And I believe we are well on course for 500 here. The 250 has just come up from 20 overs. Both batsmen have scored hundreds in double quick time, but that's the end of the power play. Oh, that brings up the 150 for McGregor. But I don't think he's done yet. He's got his eye on that highest ever one day score, 264 by Rohit Sharma in 2014. The 300 is up. Ah, here we go, Peter Selar, who in real life has only just retired internationally at the age of 35. Here he is, being utterly destroyed by admittedly a team of superhuman mutants that have eaten irradiated waste from Sachin Tendulkar's drain. There again, I do suppose Sailor has some powers of his own, if he's still playing for the Netherlands international side at the age of 72. A decent over there, McGregor is just about to bring up his 200, and there it is. In 106 balls, 31 fours, 0 sixes. I think that's another indicator of the time and the way the game was programmed. Uh, not many sixes have been scored. Look at that, not even Dawes has scored a six yet. I think since the power play, that run rate has really come down, but, but that's to be expected. And also, if we take a look at the player info bars on the right-hand side there, we can see that McGregor and Dawes are starting to lose some of their stamina. 
so I think that factors into them slowing the run rate just a tad. Still no wickets lost here, but is this going to be a run out? Nope. I don't think we've even had a chance of a run out, which remember is the only way that these guys can get out. And on maximum aggression, that can happen. But so far we've been very lucky. McGregor still pulling out those shots. Ooh, that one just evades short leg, but would he have caught it? It went like an absolute tracer bullet! Well, everything looks like it's going like a tracer bullet on double speed. And the spinner is back on, wonderfully slotted between the fielders. There are only one boundary that over. And there is yet another milestone. McGregor has reached 250. It's looking like he'll defeat the highest one-day individual score here. Okay, so here we go. And that will be it. They come back for another, and that's 500 on the board. 501, 11.1 and over from 45 overs. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We have beaten the real-life record. But how high can we go? This is the final over now. We've had a few fallow overs, but that is rocketed, rocketed through the covers to finish the England innings. 537 for none. A couple of monumental efforts there, but I'm sure that McGregor will be disappointed he didn't reach the 300. Selah and Kvetsi, for the fact that they came on quite late, were spurred the rod a little bit, but those opening bowlers, Yonkman and Gajvani, bore the brunt in the opening 20 overs. But you might say that's very good for pensioners, and I am liable to say the same. I mean, whose idea was this, to pit Superman up against old men? Here are the stats for William McGregor. Looks like he's favoured the covers, and notably absolutely no chances given whatsoever. Dawes' is stat screen here, 167% strike rate, going along for 50 overs. That's a heck of an achievement. So, we might as well finish off this game while we're here, because there is the small matter of the highest margin of victory in a one day. And in present day, that is 290 by New Zealand in 2008 against Ireland in Aberdeen. Here we go, let's get started. Parry into Van Nierup. Ooh, and he passes the outside edge. Is that an omen for the rest of this innings? And they've gone up for that! It's the first wicket down. One for one. Parry with the fifth ball of the over, and he has two in the over. Three for two after four balls. Len aims into the attack now, and he goes past the outside edge. He's in again, and they've gone up. The umpire raises his finger. Ames has his first wicket. And he's in again. Kashif took that off his legs excellently there. Suspiciously good for an 80-year-old, you might say. Now Parry's back. That's the outside edge, taken at first slip. And Netherlands are 16 for 4, <laughs> trailing by 522 runs. And Berman has gone now. A golden duck. Parry in again. Another wicket. Another double wicket over this is. In fact, it's a triple wicket over. He's got five already. And now Ames is getting into the action. Caught at first slip. Peter Saylor. Happy retirement, sir, but you are out. Okay, Mark Yonkman. And he's been clean bowled. He wanders off. Perry has his sixth from 2.2 overs. Unprecedented. Ames is back in. And... The finger goes up once again. This is all that's over. Nine wickets down. And that's it. Swazinski is gone. And the Netherlands are all out for 26. England win by 511 runs. A monumental world record. So that's it for this experiment. I feel we've learned a little bit about the game by pushing it to its limits. I do have to admit I simmed this game approximately three or four times beforehand to get this score. 520 was the previous highest we got. So probably higher scores can be made. But I think that's a pretty good demonstration for one day of how many runs you could squeeze out of an innings. There is one more way you can get a higher score, I think. 
and that would be save scumming, i.e. saving at the end of every over and reloading if you don't get a good score from it. But that would take absolutely ages. <laughs> and I think this video has been long enough anyway, so we shall draw it to a close and say thank you very much for watching. Sayonara!